Hello, tubers. This is Pat Jordan coming to you from the Grain Ghetto in Illinois. Before we had the notion of mimetic warfare, there was disinfo. Before there was disinfo, there was just plain fucking stupid. Let me introduce you to fucking stupid. There is a myth, disinformation, a meme, a lie that says you have to get worse before you get better. This is the crude mentality of a male sports coach with testicles for brains that tells an injured player to gut it out and just walk it off. The Herxheimer effect had been memified into the modern lie of the healing crisis. What this is, very simply, is an idiotic guru who is out of their depth telling their victim to just walk it off when that idiotic guru was the author of the disease du jour. A classic example is the fraud of die off when killing candida. If you knew physiology, then you would know the principles that I taught in my video continuum. All of the conditions from allergy to addiction to immunity to hypersensitivity to detoxification are interrelated and occurring simultaneously with the added smoke up your ass that inflammation is an immune system process. Therefore, the plugheads that suggest reducing inflammation while boosting immunity is like the fraudulent advertisement of cough syrups with a cough suppressant and an expectorant. Unless you're ignorant, an expectorant is to cough things up. You can't do that if you're suppressing that cough. See? It's fucking stupid. So let's look at the Herxheimer effect healing crisis with those sunglasses on. The Herxheimers were Yehudi brothers. One of them was a dermatologist. Oddly, back in the day and all the way to 1947, as you will see in my book, Assaulted, dermatology was very closely aligned with the condition of syphilis. Sorry, I crunch data 17 hours a day, 7 days a week, but I haven't gotten to the bottom of that one. So, Herxy was playing with the standard toys of the day to relieve his customers' conditions of syphilis. This included mercury, arsenic, and antimony. Those darlings had a rich history of use all the way back to the days of Fast Eddie Jenner and beyond. I'm prompted to say toxic fucking heavy metals, but hopefully you beat me to that. You know what happens next. Herxy gives the said mercury or arsenic or antimony to the desperately stupid or stupidly desperate customer and they get worse before they get better. To us, with some distance and an Indian guide like me, we can follow the steaming blood trail through the snow right up to the corpse. The notion was that if the outward signs of the syphilis went away, then it was a cure. So that was the better part. The worse part was from, well, you already know, heavy fucking toxic metal poisoning. Back in those days, which are unsurprisingly no different than today, there was no follow-up. And if a patient died, as did many of Jenner's experiments, you just write it off to some other cause because it couldn't possibly have anything to do with your treatment. So we will never know if those victims of Herxheimer saw their syphilis lesions go away before or after they fell off the twig from toxic metal poisoning. Given that those three are cumulative poisons, if you didn't die right away, you might linger in agony until you finally did. Not to worry, that's just a healing crisis, because after all, the outward signs of your nasty on your boo-boo went away. Just walk it off. So Herx was a fraud. His effect was a lie. 
and a healing crisis is a cover for dumb fucks that never learned the lesson or are maliciously covering up this fraud a hundred years later. You see, even Sam Hahnemann of homeopathic fame said that people shouldn't be getting unwell from his ministrations neither. He said if you chose the right remedy, that it would remove all suffering of the disease in question, and if for any reason something else should rear its ugly head, then you hit it like a -a whack-a-mole because that is a new disease and should be addressed as such. Now, I know there are homeopathic practitioners out there that follow only just his fourth or fifth or sixth edition as if they were on a jihad. So they will find fault with my assessment of Hahnemann's own words because he schizophrenically reversed himself more than a -a whack-a-mole. But, well, there it is in his own words. Blaming your incompetence on a healing crisis or a Herxheimer effect is blaming the patient for being ill. This is the total failing of modern alternative medicine. They are freaks who are invested in an ancient lie that was taught to them. So without questioning, why are my patients suffering? They turn it into a game. Gut it out. Walk it off. No. Every new manifestation is a new disease, and it means that if you're able to stimulate the body to cell-mediated immunity, and the cytokine cascades kicked in and started whooping some ass, but the cleanup crews of detoxification were not sufficient to do the job, then you would have a new manifestation with new problems and new suffering that would need to be addressed. It's not a sign that the remedy is working. It's a sign that you are so damned lazy that you are not working. But the educated fucks have to inflict the unknowledge that they paid for, so they will tell you that it's just part of the process and to gut it out and walk it off. The bottom line here is that anyone that sells the fraud of Herxheimer's lie and healing crisis is out of their depth, not to be trusted, and clearly does not know how to manage getting the body to transition from disease to repair smoothly by aiding or speeding up the cleanup process. I keep mentioning that I am just a dumb farm boy from the grain ghetto. Yet if I know this stuff, then why are dumb fucks making more money than I will ever see in my life getting paid to tell people to suffer, live in pain, and accept a new disease and trade for an old one? But if you are an acolyte of Clint Richardson, then you would already know the word patient implies that you suffer silently. I think there is sadism on the part of the practitioners and masochism on the part of the clients. Me? I just kick ass and I'm not taking names.